Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, I have discussed about that blade syntax, right? I hope you get some of the idea. Right now, we don't need this. Better I want to do and to remove this file, okay? I simply remove this. That means I want to delete it. I simply delete it. Great. Now, in this video, we'll work most interactive one of the things um, I want to do before I have loaded our all that view page directly from to the route right now i want to do i want to load our all that view page okay i want to load all that view page from to the controller so if you want to work with this controller first of all we have to do we have to create one of the controller if you want to create this controller simply go to our project file like that is our directory into the directory because our server is now running with the php addition serve into this terminal which is totally fine i want to open another new terminal i make it as a cmd like first of all i want to create one of the controller okay if you want to create this controller you have to do simply write down as a php artisan okay that is artisan and then the make controller and then i want to do uh, if you want to create some of the specific folder name you can create that folder name rather than if you name it directly then that will be created all that our controller as i told you into the controller folder right so for education purpose i want to do i want to create it directly um, better or rather than i want to create another folder name as it okay that is always a demo folder it will be created on the demo folder and here i want to create on the controller name as a demo okay demo controller demo controller now that will be created one of the folder as a demo and into the folder area it will be created one of the controller name as a demo controller okay now if you click as a enter like i click as a enter now you can see our controller created successfully and also into the controller area it's now created one of the folder name as a demo and that is our demo controller now i want to do i want to load our contact page and then the about us page from our controller if you want to do that work first of all we have to have to update our route okay here we have to update it first of all i want to do i want to load our um, that is our controller the controller you can see there is a name space in our app http controller and then the demo folder first of all here we have to do we have to use it okay here we have to use it and that is our app you can see there is an app and then the http and there is a controllers folder and there is our demo folder into this demo that is our file name that is our controller name as a demo controller then i want to do and to load it okay that is our backslash and then the demo controller make that sure you load that controller here first of all you have to use it okay now i want to do and to access our demo controller in our route like right now i want to better remove it okay remove everything and now i want to name it as a route and that will be as a route and then you have to use it as a gate method right that will be one of the same gate method and into this gate method area our path will be as a slash about so i make it as a about and then here we have to do have to load our controller name our controller name as a demo controller and demo controller will be one of the class okay that will be on the class and then after that here you have to do have to add your method name okay so that is the procedure there is a route get our url will be as a slash about and into this slash about area i have loaded one of the controller i have already input this controller right now we don't need this i remove it okay make it as a clean right now i have already used that our controller name as a demo controller that is our demo controller now into this demo controller area whatever the method you will create you have to do you have to create it in particular that position so like now i name it as the index okay i name it as index that means index type one of the name that is one of the method name that method now we have to create in our demo controller okay simply go to our uh, demo controller here now we have to create that method as index now go to that controller and into this controller i name it as a public okay public and then function and our method name i have already declared as index so now by this we have created one of the function okay friend we simply remember that part so that is one of the function name i name that function as index so that is our index right now i want to better put some of the note as and that is our and method okay that is one of the method our method name i name it as index and that is started from here that is ended so in particular that area i want to do i want to return one of the view page like same things right before i pass, returned it from to the um, our you can see before i returned it from to the our web php now i want to return it from to the our controller so that will be the return 
there is a return and return on the view page right that is a view page or view page will be which one that will be loaded our about page same things you can see friend the same things before i directly loaded from to this area now i now that will be hit our about and when it will be hit that about in our demo controller i have loaded one of the index method so that is the index method when it will be hit that index method then that will be return one of the view page as about i have already created our about page that means now right now that should be display as a about page and this is about page i make it as a, this is about page from controller okay controller now let's check this out if you now click the save all and now if you go now refresh it i want to do to access our about so that will be about okay that will be the sorry about i click the enter yes you can see now it's perfect now it's successfully loaded as a, this is about page from to the controller so how all functionality actually work when you hit our url as a slash about then that is our slash about that is our slash about and then that will be i have loaded that controller and with this controller i have created one of the method as index method now that is our index method it will be heated and when it will be hit our index method then that will be return one of the view page i simply loaded as a about and that is our view that means in our resources view and about page is loaded right now i want to do the same things for our another page like before i have loaded that things like that way right now i want to do that will be the same things i copy it and then i paste it okay now into the demo controller and uh, our url i make it as a slash contact and into the demo controller now i want to create another method as a contact okay i make it as a contact so i simply name it on the method name that will be as a contact method now we have to do have to create it uh, right now we don't need this better i put some of the note for you i make it as a comment out by pressing that control and then slash okay then automatically that will be as a comment out and now i want to create our method as a contact method now go to our demo controller i will simply loaded the demo controller here again we have to create another function so that will be the same procedure as a public and then function and the public function our method name will be as a contact method and then that is our contact method so in here right now i again simply return okay return return one of the view page i simply return on the view page and now i want to load our another page as a contact okay i have already created one of the page that the one of the view page into the resources and view and that is our contact page i make it as a this is contact page from from controller okay now that should be loaded our contact page now if you want to check it when you hit our ap that is url as a contact if you now click as a save all and now if you go now refresh it now if you want to access that contact I click as enter yeah you can see it's now successfully loaded our view page as a this is contact page from to the controller i hope you get some of the idea how that controller actually work so friend that is used for in laravel 8 in laravel 8 you have to load your controller and then you have to load your um, all that route like that way here every time we ha you have to do you have to use it as a controller name but in laravel 9 that is little bit changes they have some of the update or every time you don't need to pass um that your controller name you can actually group that things i show you here if you want to make it as a group first of all here you have to do you have to load that your route okay i show you everything will be more clear that is a route there is very small change but very um, interactive like i make it as a controller right that will be the controller okay that is a controller and into this controller area now i have our, our common controller i have already loaded here also you have to do you have to use it i simply loaded that controller name as a demo controller and then that will be one of the class right that will be one of the class great and then i want to do and to make it as a group okay so you can now group it there is a group and group function so that will be as a group function and into this group function area here only you have to do like simply paste it and now i want to do and to take both of this okay i take both of this i cut it and then i paste it so that is our one and there is our another one now here you don't need to um, use this okay you don't need to use that as a demo controller better i remove it and also from here i remove it 
right now that will be our url and here into the second parameter you can actually pass your method so i have already created another method as a about for the about i make it as index and also I want to create i have already created another method as a contact method now that will be as a contact method okay that is our url and then that will be our your method name simple things i loaded that controller that is a controller name as a demo controller and into this demo controller i group all that our total route now you can see it's not totally clean right right now if you add that multiple routes here that will be always into the group area okay friends so that is the new update in laravel 9 into the laravel line you can actually group your all that controller or that is you can group your all the trout okay so now let's check this out our process will be same it should be work now click as a save all if you want to access that about like i want to refresh it now there is a syntax error as a, this one unexpected and file that means here i have me some of the semicolon you can see i have used some of the semicolon there's a common error now click the save all now if you refresh it here our contact page is now successfully loaded if you want to access that about now click the enter our about page is successfully loaded okay how to uh, create that uh, group i hope friend it's very much clear to you in our next video i want to create some of the name route okay how can load some of the heavy link into the route area in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.